trips are really big. They are big. Look what I just found! That's crazy. I wonder what it's from. I wonder what it is from. Eric could probably know. Yeah. We'll have to ask. Yeah. The Franklin man. Bye bye. I am now going back to the big city. Yeah, have a lot of fun. Enjoy fun. the Caribbean warmth. We will see Eric back in New York in a few days. and I have had lunch, we went swimming, did a little bit of exercise and now we are having a lovely team chat and Melinda just told me her new thing and I was like we have to vlog that. Yeah I was just telling, I was telling Rachel and Laura and everyone that um, knee health comes from standing and specifically walking but if you've just had an injury obviously you can only walk so much because you're rebuilding some of the muscles around the places so if I've done a couple of things. I downloaded a pedometer app and been watching how much I walk during the day. And I've just dedicated myself to amping that up by at least 150 steps a day. Um, and the, the goal is to get to 10,000 steps a day. And then in addition to that, no more sitting. Because sitting is the worst thing you can do for your knees. Oh my god, this is amazing, Melinda. Yeah. I'm just like standing all the time, which is really nice. I'm not even doing anything other than standing. And I can feel this, my back muscles, my butt, wow. my thighs, it's all activated. That's amazing. Yay! More standing. Give Melinda a shout out in the comments and tell us your standing up healthy knee goals. Anything to report, Rach? How's it feel being back there? Feels good. I um, woke up with to sunrise on the East River today. Amazing. Just kind of amazing and really cool to have that experience of just like being with the sun and being with the water, kind of no matter where I am mm. in the world. Also, another cool thing is I did beach body workout this morning. Which one did you do? The first one. I'm gonna just like redo the series. So I did day one, cool. and it was funny because I was doing a, a tricep thing, and and I'm listening to you as I do it, and you go hands up a little more, Rach, and I was like, that is priceless because it was from the filming of it, and so it was just a really sweet experience. That's and it amazing. Ended. It was just awesome. So Yay. You can be a beach body superhuman anywhere you want to be, which is cool. Boom! Totally. Beachbodyworkout.me! Hi guys! So I'm sorry I haven't vlogged very much today. Um, I'm actually two days behind in vlogs, so I kind of have partly been on purpose not vlogging too much so that we can catch up. I'm still um, editing the coconut vlog which is kind of long and kind of hysterical and because I felt a little nauseous yesterday I just got a little bit behind with it so apologies but I just thought I'd show you my really lovely beach setup that I got going on right now feels really nice oh, it just feels so lovely and the sun is just pouring through the trees on the little bird so yeah it feels nice Eric is now back in New York it happened so fast it's kind of crazy um, and Jess and I have just been working this afternoon, so there hasn't been a whole lot to vlog. Just working on all the stuff that is happening and getting ready and this camera is a bit broken. So I think I'm going to need a new one when I get back. I'm going to keep working on this and I'll talk to you in a bit. Hey guys, so we were just chilling down by the beach floor, just finished the vlog and I've been ankle waiting a little bit. Yay! And the big exciting news of the day is that we're both wearing our new bikinis and we love them. Here's Laura wearing her gorgeous new orange bikini that we got at Sand Angels and I think it's by a company named Vix and she looks so beautiful and look at that cutie <laughs> booty and these details of this gold gorgeous emblem. It's so, so nice. Awesome. It feels so nice. 
So this oh is God. one side of my reversible so cool. bikini. I love it. Other side, you'll see a different time. I, I love, love it, it so much. And I feel like a whole new person. I really like this shirt. Tinsy wincy, tinsy wincy little one. So Jess is going on a date with the Cayman captain. I don't know if this is a date, but Glenn is on yeah. a soccer team and I'm gonna go to his soccer game. Yeah. As a surprise, well not a surprise. Yeah. And I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed early. And guess who's taking the vlog on a babysitting okay. date this adventure. This is the first time this has ever happened. This is, that's true. Um, vlog is going with Jess. So you're, wow. gonna, you're gonna go to the soccer game, partly because I want to go too. Totally. So Jess is gonna say goodnight and love you very nicely. Yes. And I will see you tomorrow. So goodnight from me. And let's go. Hey guys, so I made it here. I'm very impressed with myself as this is the first time I've driven by myself and I've gotten a lot of direction help from Rachel and Laura. So let's go in. Hey guys, so I am ending the vlog. The last clip you saw was at the soccer game, which it turns out Glenn did not actually play in, but it was still really fun to see in a cool cultural experience because I don't really get to see sports games very often. We had a really lovely fun night out and I am just got home, excited for bed, excited for another beautiful day here on Green Cayman to spend with you guys tomorrow. Thank you, Laura, for this vlog babysitter experience. It was really fun and felt really cool to have you guys with me for the adventure tonight. If you liked today's chill video, give this video a thumbs up and leave us your comments. We love reading them. I especially do, as I've mentioned in the past. And that is all. Wishing you a wonderful rest of your day and night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.